Hi, it's me, Jen. Today we're going to be covering basic Microsoft Excel tips, therapy, residual rugs, alternate rugs, and CMI. Prior to January 1, 2019, facilities received CMI credit for residents who rugged in a rehab category for the entire 92 days of payment that was generated from the last OBRA assessment. If a resident was discharged from therapy, we still received CMI credit for the 92 days. But as of January 1st, facilities will no longer receive this credit and we will only receive the CMI credit for the days the resident was actually in therapy. When we enter the end of therapy dates into the Myers and Software portal, we will begin to receive CMI credit for the alternate rug. So what does this mean for your CMI? It means it could be significantly lower when the final time-weighted reports come out. So let's take a look at our first example. Facilities will no longer receive CMI credit for the 92 days unless the resident is receiving therapy services. In our example, the resident had an ARD of 1214. The resident received a rehabilitation rug, but on 120, therapy services ended treatment, and the alternate rug of a PE1 automatically became our alternate rug. This change resulted in a decrease of CMI from a 1.65 to a 1.17. So you will see these changes on your time-weighted report next quarter. So what is CMI? CMI is also known as Case Mix Index. The Case Mix Index is an average of rug values that are assigned to all OBRA assessments. This average helps determine the number of resources your facility needs and uses. A higher CMI value indicates a need for more resources, which can result in higher reimbursement rates. I know many of you get anxious just thinking about Excel, but I want you to relax. I'm going to teach you a few tricks to help make your job a little easier. So let's get started. As you can see, I have the Excel document open now and I have all of the residents' names, the ADL, Medicaid rug, CMI, alternate rug, and the alternate CMI value. I know some of you have a software that provides the alternate rug scores, but if your software doesn't provide the list of alternate rug scores, you should probably be keeping track of this so when you enter the end of therapy stop date into the Myers and Software portal, you'll know what that alternate rug is. Myers and Stauffer put a note in their newsletter last month that said beginning July 1st, 2019, they would begin to audit the alternate rug scores. So this means when they come to your facility, they can look at the rehabilitation rug and the alternate rug to ensure the supportive documentation requirements have been met. So let's get started at looking at how to sort and filter through this data. Excel has tabs at the top, as you can see, the file, the home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, and help. So what we're going to do right now is just some basic sorting. You need to be able to sort in Excel so you can get the data results that you want. Whenever you want to sort in Excel, you highlight the areas that you want to sort through and you go to the home tab. From the Home tab, there's a Sort and Filter button. I'm going to select a Custom Sort. And when you have a Custom Sort, it's very important to note this check mark. It says My Data Has Headers. That means that it will not include these headlines, the ADL, the Medicaid rugs, CMI, alternate rugs. So you need to make sure that's checked so you can keep that data where it is. So I want to sort by the CMI value. So I'm going to select that column and I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, now everything has changed and I have my CMI values from the lowest down to the highest. So now I want to sort by the Medicaid rug. So I'm going to use the same thing that I did last time go to that home tab and then all the way over here to the sort and filter. I'm going to do a custom sort again. And my data does have header. Now I'm going to go to the Medicaid rug 
and I'm going to sort A to Z. So as you can see, now all of my rugs are lined up. I'm looking for the rehabilitation rug because those are the only rugs that are impacted by the alternate rug. So as you can see, I have three individuals listed and those individuals have their alternate rug listed as well. So I have that data in my Excel document. Another thing I like to use Excel for is I like to determine who has the lowest ADL scores in my building. So the way I'll do that is the same way. Going to that Home tab, the Sort and Filter, Custom Sort, My Data Has Headers, ADL score smallest to largest, and now I can see who has the smallest ADL score in my building, all the way down to the highest. So now that you have the basic sorting and filtering options completed, I want to show you how to calculate your CMI. So your CMI is an average of all of the CMI values that you have. So in Excel, it's very easy. You highlight the areas, and now we're going to go to the Formulas tab. When you hit the Formulas tab, we have the Auto Sum button, and we're going to say we want to average. And as you can see, it gave us a 1.40. So that is our CMI value with therapy in. Let's look at the alternate CMI. To do that, I'm going to highlight the areas I want to average. I'm going to go to the Formulas tab again, the Auto Sum, Average, and my CMI changed to a 1.27. As you can see, there's been a decrease in CMI once the alternate rug is calculated. I want to thank you for watching and I hope you found this information helpful. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure and hit that subscribe button. As always, I hope you have an amazing day and thanks for learning with Jen.